first thing to dismantle Nigeria, IPOB wants presidency. Good day, my people. This is the news for today. As we see that the IPOB have won the presidency, that they are investing to dismantle the nation Nigeria. Leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazil Namdikano, declared yesterday that every cobble contributed by members of the group worldwide was being invested into dismantling Nigeria and restoring the state of Biafra. Kanu was responding to an allegation by the presidency on Sunday that the group elite was using Christianity to ignite war in Nigeria. Senior Special Assistant to the President of Media and Publicity, Malam Gaba Shewu, had alleged that IPOB was spending huge sums of money on a divisive campaign against Nigeria. Nigerians and the International Committee are advised to be wary of this divisive campaign, which available evidence shows is being funded with a monthly spending of $85,000. Since October 2019, with no record of the source of this largest, the spokesman said he added there is also a UK and European angle of the campaign, which is more opaque than its US sister campaign. Even there is a less, there is less legal requirement for public findings filings but what is known of this at the moment is that their budget is sufficient to hire four PR firms in the UK, Belgium, France and the US. International groups and societies are welcome to send representatives to Nigeria and give a lie to the false claims made by these terrorist groups who are duping them of their money and involving them in conduct and activities disguised to destroy the Armenians relationship existing between their own country and Nigeria. But in a personally signed statement issued through Media and Publicity Secretary, Comrade Ima Parafo Kano said, every damn the indomitable IPOB family worldwide contributes towards our liberation, goes towards the dismantling of Nigeria and the restoration of Biafra, I mean every time. Insisting that he has no ulterior motive, he noted, I am as in American, I have no mansion, I have no car, I have no hotel, I have no university, I have no government contract, I don't lie, I don't cheat, I don't steal. All I have is the grace of Chuko Kike Ubiyama, Almighty God to do His will, which is to restore Biafra in truth and honesty. Once again, the Nigerian government has inadvertently confirmed that we spent big on our diplomatic offensive. We have destroyed Nigeria, and by the time we are done with them, they name Nigeria will cease to exist. One member, Chief Ikechi Agu, alleged there is a ploy to out more members of our group into prison. That is why they are raising the issue. We all know that what we have done so far is true diplomacy and not violence. If government is sincere, let it deny that security forces are not killing people. Let it deny that we are not being marginalized. Let's deny that there is no justice, equity, and fairness in the country, especially since Buhari assumed power, reacting. The APS Igbo Social Cultural Organization, or Anise Igbo, said Kano's claim, which is the right to self determination, is guaranteed in the laws and constitution of the land. Deputy National Publicity Secretary Mazi Chuk Sibegu said IPOB is not using any violence, and we are still in Nigeria. And we have to be law-abiding citizens, but be that as it may, the government is advised to ascertain it to the truism of veracity of their claim. On fears that the presidency statement might pave the way for an attack on the region, other members of the group, Ibegu said, there is nothing you cannot consider a possibility because of past experiences, but we are warning against any act of terror being unleashed on Igbo land. We will resist it. If the federal government has issues with Kano, it should follow due process, devoid of violence, no killing, no intimidation, but let common sense prevail. We will resist any attempt to cause chaos in Igbo land. Face-off between the presidency and IPOB has died down 
after the government prescribed the group declaring it as a terrorist organization and after Kano has fled the country alleging a plot against his life. And my people, that is the news for today. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel.